Right as the wipe begins, an early boat is an incredible advantage. Basically a guaranteed fast start. You can easily outpace others on scrap for BPs with some ocean farming, farm oil rig scientists for early guns and meds, and maybe even be the first on cargo. Problem is, every other naked on the beach knows this too, which is why you want a boat base as soon as possible. And I use this one every time. So firstly, my early boat base needs to be quick to build and cheap. This one comes in at less than 5 stone nodes. Perfect. Secondly, I need room for boats, plural. Since I usually play in a trio and we often go out with one boat and come back with two. But it's also good to know that you have something to fall back on when you go out with a boat and come back with no boat. So a single boat boat base isn't my cup of tea. It also needs to work flawlessly with double doors, this being very early in the wipe, and this is actually an issue with many boat bases when people aren't sure how to make them. This, as you can see, is silky smooth. So to summarize, foolproof and reliable, comfortable operation for 3 boats at only 4.5 stone nodes, smooth double doors for early wipe, solid. Also, uh, I want to be clear about what it isn't. It's not a starter base, a flank base or protected loot storage. For all of that, you want this boat base, which your trio can happily use as a starter base, and then later as a very good flank base. So I'm gonna show you how to build both right now, and towards the end of the video I'm gonna share some very important tips, such as what to do if double doors don't work, and how to turn normal boat bases into submarine bases. So make sure to watch all the way through. Good? Alright, let's go build. Okay, so first we need to make sure we have the right height. You want to get these bits just underwater. So fearlessly go forth... And there. Now place four square foundations. And on the left here, an elevated triangle foundation for the TC compartment. Protect it with a door. And then to the right, add a double door with a half wall above it. Next come triangle foundations, all around like so. And yeah, this looks very much like a furnace base. Except for boats. And so, much like a furnace base, you close this with triangle roofs. These can be annoying to place sometimes, easiest is to place them from above, like I show here. If you're new to Rust and wondering why I'm doing this, it's because triangle foundations and roofs are extremely cheap. They also close very nicely with great headspace. Comfy. That leaves us with this opening right here, which if you're like me, you just close with a wall and call it a day. Although sometimes you might want an airlock here, especially if you're a solo I guess. In which case, don't build a roof piece on this triangle, and instead do this. And finally, demolish the twig foundations to give those boat propellers better submersion. Then you can add some storage, a garage door for the TC also, maybe upgrade the TC compartment itself. One thing that doesn't go in here is bags, unfortunately. So I just place mine outside or in the airlock if I'm playing solo. Of course, if we do need some flank base functionality later on, we can always do something like this. Which I never do, because at the end of the day, this is just cheap storage for boats. You plop it down instantly and never have to mess with it again. But if you want something more feature-rich, let's talk option 2. Alright, so we start the same as before, with these bits needing to be just submerged. Per 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 perfect. Get 4 twig squares down like so, and immediately add a raised square foundation for the TC compartment. Good, now protect the TC with the door, 
and complete the ocean facing side like so. Wonderful! Now let's surround this with raised square foundations. And WTF is this? Well, happily we have stumbled upon a teachable moment. You see, these jagged roof edges prevent foundation placement. But fear not, just do this. Strange but true. Alright, so since we plan on living out of this space for a bit, we gotta have an airlock. So add one facing the beach, preferably. And then enclose the space using a combination of straight roofs and walls. Now inside you can upgrade the TC compartment, as well as add some utility, sleeping bags, some storage which with the new box capacity is basically infinite storage, and that's one very cost effective 3 boat starter base and possibly future flag base. And now for some important tips. Now it can be that in some places on the map the water gets very deep very close to shore. And since double doors come with this random metal bar at the bottom which serves no purpose except to ruin boat bases, well, and hide pixel gap bunkers. But mostly to ruin boat bases. In this case, keep the foundation by the door. Just a twig foundation. Operation won't be as silky smooth, but close enough. Either way, once you have garage doors, you can remove this foundation and everything will be perfect again. And one more thing, if you want a base that fits submarines, it's just a bit different. In this case, you want the TC triangle to be just above water, and the square twig foundations to all be lowered. Then just continue as before, and it'll give you perfect submarine height. Although double doors definitely don't work for submarines. And that's it! my practical no-nonsense boat bases, the ones I build in Wipe. Mostly the first one though. There's just something so satisfying to my cost-efficiency centered builder's psyche about farming 5 stone nodes and then turning that into a full 3 boat boat base with even spare stone for a day's upkeep. Well anyway, if you appreciate that approach to building, I'm certain you'll appreciate the rest of my very useful and informative videos. So go check them out, tell me what you think, and of course... Be nice to your mum! Anything else? No. All right.